The prerequisites for open test installation are Node.js version 6 or later and Java Runtime Environment version 8 or later. Open a command prompt and type the command npm install open test g. Then wait for the installation to complete. Create a directory called OpenTest that we will be using as a playground for this tutorial and cd into this directory. Type the command OpenTest quick start. The quick start command created three directories for us a directory called actor1 with a configuration file for the open test actor, a directory called server containing a configuration file for the open test server, and a directory called test repo which contains our test repository. Now let's start the open test server and the open test actor. To start the server, we'll cd into the server directory and we'll type open test server. To start the open test actor, we'll open a new command prompt and we will cd into the actor1 directory that was created for us earlier. We will then type open test actor. Now that both the server and the actor are running, we can execute our first test session. So we'll open up a browser window to this URL, localhost 3000. This is the web-based user interface exposed by the OpenTest server. One thing to keep in mind is that in order to run any test, we must have at least one test actor available here. As you can see, we have one, which is the one we started earlier in this terminal window. To create the first test session, we go to the session menu, create test session, and we'll select two tests that don't require any previous setup. The first one is an API test, which calls the GitHub branches API. And the second one uh, demonstrates loading and using an external JavaScript file in your tests. And now let's give a label to this uh, session so it's easy to recognize it. And then create the session by clicking the create session button. The session started running. And if we go to the test actor, we can actually see it in action. We'll wait for it to be done. Now it finished execution, so we can go back to the web UI, refresh, to see the results. So the test session passed. To view more details about this session, we'll click on its label here. The test results tab in this page shows the list of of the tests contained in this test session along with their result, duration and other information. If we want to see the list of steps that were executed as part of each test, we can expand them like that. To view even more information, we can go to the log tab. By default, the log tab only displays uh, high level information about the test session. If we want to see all of the information, we must go to settings, select trace, and close. Now we can see everything. This is all the information you need in order to troubleshoot a test to figure out whether it's an a test failure means an application issue, a problem with the test, or any other type of problem. Well, congratulations. You have just installed OpenTest and successfully ran your first test session.